Hey everybody, this is Raymond Camden and I just wanted to do a really quick video to show something that is kind of new and may surprise you. Um, this was all documented and I even kind of saw it and just kind of went over my head so um, I thought that it may uh, go over other people's heads as well. So when you create or use a Cordova application you may notice something weird happening with the splash screen. I set up a little simple demo here and it's going to deploy to the iPhone simulator. There's my splash screen, Skeletor, and it fades away. And that's kind of cool looking actually and that's kind of new. And it, tur it uh, turns out that the splash screen plugin was updated a couple days ago and this is visible on the plugins release blog entry. Uh, on uh, January 19th and they actually talk about implementing a new feature for this called Fade Splash Screen. If you go to the Splash Screen docs though you will notice that it's not mentioned in the preferences and actually you only kind of recognize that it's a feature if you go down to to do Android and iOS quirks and it's kind of weird that it's in quirks, uh, but it talks about two new features, uh, two new settings, fade splash screen and fade splash screen duration. And the important thing here is that the preference defaults to true. So if for some reason you don't like this particular feature, just go into your code and add fade splash screen equals false. Save it and we will rebuild it and we should see it pop up in a second here and it'll go straight from the splash screen to the application. There you go. Uh, I've already filed a bug report on uh, documenting these preferences and uh, I hope this was helpful.